Okay, guys, so we are checking our Estar de Moda en las Estaciones project. Let me put it on slideshow so we can talk about this. We had a lot of common mistakes, so I wanted to kind of go through this common mistakes. You're supposed to write your name there where it says Por. And right here, you had to choose a an outfit that we had already described in the instructions. So I kind of give you an idea of a, a guy one and a girl one. I kind of give you all kinds of examples for winter and for spring. Remember on spring, you had to have two of them. They should be matching. And then on summer, okay, it was two of these and they should be matching. So let's start with the examples with otoño. All of these had to be in the yo form. As I was correcting your seesaws, too many of you guys did not know how to conjugate the verb llevar, and then how in sentences two and five, we had the verb gustar and llevar. So look how I set this up. I'm describing the girl on the right. En el otoño, yo no llevo un sombrero. En el otoño, me gusta llevar una chaqueta naranja. Yo llevo una blusa roja. Yo llevo unos pantalones azules. Sentences two, three, and four are describing what the person is wearing. The last one says, a mí me gusta llevar zapatos negros. So the last one is for your shoe color. Please look at the verbs. I have them highlighted. They should match what you have on yours. On the next one, we're talking about winter and el invierno. So if I was looking at this guy over here from top to bottom, I'd start with a hat. He's not wearing one. En el invierno, el no lleva, and I would say, un sombrero. And then I'd say, en el invierno, a él le gusta llevar una chaqueta verde. So instead of saying la chaqueta, I'm going to say una chaqueta verde. Él lleva una camisa azul. Él lleva unos pantalones verdes. A él le gusta llevar unos zapatos negros. So make sure your nouns and your colors match and make sure you have an una or una in front of it. The next one was an example for primavera, for spring. Okay, so if they're wearing a hat, you say that they're wearing a hat. If not, you say no llevamos. But these are nosotros. So look how we conjugate that. On the first sentence, we have Nosotros no llevamos on the second one. A nosotros nos gusta llevar. And then we start from top to bottom. I talk about the sweater, the dress, maybe the necklace, okay? And then a nosotros nos gusta llevar. And then the shoes and the color. And she's wearing sandals. The last set is in the ustedes form, okay? That's a y'all. So ustedes llevan. And then you talk about the hat and the color. And then a ustedes les gusta llevar, so y'all like to wear. And then you talk about whatever articles of clothing you see. And so we have three sentences to talk about their clothes. So she has a dress on, she has a necklace on, she has a bag, she has sunglasses. So I mentioned she's not wearing socks. You could even talk about that. That was in your examples on your paper. And then the last one is you're going to talk about the sandals that she's their sandals that they're wearing on their feet. So please use this video to correct your seesaw. And so you might have to delete your seesaw, make the corrections on your Google Slides, and then, and then you're going to have to put it back on seesaw. Don't forget to read it again.